InDesign excels at creating multi-page documents like brochures, books, magazines, and a lot more. In this video, you'll add a series of pages to a document using the Properties panel and Pages panel in InDesign, change options like page size, and reorder pages in the document. You can open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial if you want to follow along. Now there are several ways to add pages to a document in InDesign. When you first set up a document, you can enter any number of pages before creating it. But you can also add or remove pages after your document has been created, and that's what you'll do. This practice file only has a single page. With nothing selected, in the Properties panel to the right, click the Pages menu. You can see only one page and a master page, which you'll learn more about in another video in this tutorial about master pages. To add another page to this document, click the Create New Page button here. A new page is added after page one, or whatever page was showing in the document window. In InDesign, pages in the same document can be different sizes. Maybe to create a bunch of collateral, like a postcard, a business card, etc., in the same document. With page two chosen and showing in the document window, click the Edit button here to edit the page. You can then choose a default page size or create a custom page size. Choose US Business Card or something similar and the page size for page two will change. Now for this menu document, there needs to be a lunch menu and a dinner menu page and they'll look the same except for the text. To make that happen, you'll open the Pages panel. First, to stop editing this page, click back at the top of the Properties panel. Then click the Pages panel tab if you see it up here to open the Pages panel, or choose Window Pages. In the Pages panel, you can create a copy of a page and make changes to the copy. Drag the Page 1 thumbnail down to the Create New Page button down here, and release to copy the page and place it at the end of the document. So that you can see all the pages in the document window, press Command and minus on Mac, or Control and minus on Windows a few times to zoom out. Now the thumbnails in the Pages panel will mirror what's going on in the document. You can see the actual page sizes out here. This new page copy needs to be right after the original. To do that, you can reorder pages in the Pages panel. Drag the Page 3 thumbnail up between pages 1 and 2. When a line appears either to the left of page 2 or to the right of page 1, release to reorder the pages. If nothing happens, you can simply try dragging again. Now, to delete a page like this blank one, you can do it either in the Properties panel or here in the Pages panel. In the Pages panel, you first need to select the page you want to delete. So click the Page 3 thumbnail to select it, then down here, click the Delete Selected Pages button to remove it. With the new page in place, Page 2, you can change it to turn it into a dinner menu. To see the entire page, choose View, Fit Page and Window. Now that you know how to add pages to your InDesign documents, try creating your own longer documents, whether they're menus, brochures, letters, magazines, or anything else you need.